So with the Prime stuff, that's gonna be the uh, white accent-y kind of boards. Although with this one, there's no big IO shield over the back because it's one of the lower end boards in the market. The only real white that you get is down on the chipset. But if we were to head around and have a look at the stuff, something that I can show you here is there is uh, an RGB pinout. And that is so that you can connect the uh, stock AMD coolers. The 1800X doesn't come with a cooler, but some of the lower end ones do, and they're RGB. So that is the reason why this is here. Um, you get your CPU optional and CPU fan header is there. And then this one here is the chassis fan one, and this is your AIO pump header. There are some more headers down here. So you've got chassis fan two, and I can't see the writing for whether it's three or four down here. Nice to see that we do have two internal USB 2s though, so this is obviously good if you've got a power supply you can connect up to it, or your AIO or anything like that, and then you do get a USB 3 down at the bottom. There is a USB 3.1 um, internal header as well for when the cases finally catch up with this, which is all nice. You've got eight SATAs around the back. We come round to the back of the board itself. Two USB 3s, you've got a PS2, HDMI and uh, display port and what that does mean is this is an AM4 socket so this is only going to support the new Ryzen CPUs but what this does mean is that it supports uh, the AM4 socket supports all AM4 CPUs so it doesn't matter whether you get a low-end dual core with no graphics it doesn't matter sorry quad core with no graphics it doesn't matter whether you get a dual core like an APU or anything because you've got the it's all ready for here so you could get an AM uh, sorry you could get a APU at the start put it in, build your rig, start off low, and then if you wanted to upgrade to a six or an eight core later on, you can literally pull it out and swap it in. It's not like the multiple sockets that you get with um, uh, Intel. Uh, the, the one thing I do need to be very clear about though, because there was a little bit of a confusion in the uh, last video that I did, this is just for Ryzen CPU, so it's the new stuff onwards. You cannot put any of the AM3 or the AM3 Plus CPUs in here like the old six and the old eight cores like the fx6 and the eight three twenties and all that sort of stuff that does not work in here you do need to buy one of the new cpus um, but around the back again we have got a, a usb 3.1 and then you've got usb um uh, you've got a c connector here two usbs this is intel gigabit lan uh, i know people are going to go intel amd board but it works uh, and then you've got your audio out here. There's no like gold connectors or anything on it, although you can see some specific audio Japanese capacitors down on the bottom, and there is a little trace section around for the RGB. I was just looking to see if we had another RGB out on the board, because normally there is one down the bottom, but there's not. But you do get the, um, there's a thermal sensor probe here that you can, it's in it for an external sensor, although there isn't one in the box. Um, and this here is your BIOS clear. So to be honest with you, other than the fact that you have got the M.2 slot here, which does support up to 110 millimeter M.2s, there's not really a great deal else for us to talk about. There's no particular colors around here. You can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 chokes around the outside. And they're the kind of what I would call the Asus entry level chokes. They're not there all singing all dancing ones like you see on the rug boards or anything like that, but it's still 10 phases around the outside. Two decent sized heat sinks to help keep the MOSFETs cool. So it's a relatively understated board. Uh, and the fact that it's you know relatively understated, one of the lower end boards, that's the reason why I'm gonna be doing all of my CPUs in here. So the 1800X, the 1700X and the 1700, they're all going to be done on this board specifically. And then the other motherboard reviews will be done independently. So at this present moment in time, I do have the Crosshair 6. Uh, I've got a gigabyte board here and I think I'm getting an MSI board tomorrow as well. So it's gonna be all busy, busy. It's going to be flumming out, it's flying out as quick as I possibly can. But I did just wanna take these few minutes just to give you a, a look in. But please check back on the second when you can see the 1800X. Ryzen 7 review, the one that everyone wants to know about that I have two days to do. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another quick video for you. Out.